What is this? A passing soul? Knowing only this, will you still take her hand? Thank you. Foolish soul. Do not forget that with a simple gesture, your decision has hastened the end of the world. We can only pray that you return to the proper path. That you find your way again. Listen up. Everyone should have their own personal tablets now, but it sounds like some of you still need to get them registered. Those temp accounts are about to expire. So anyone who's been putting it off, better get on that. One other thing. It's been getting pretty dangerous out there. Remember the buddy system. Go back to the dorm in groups. That's it for homeroom. Thank you, sir. Everything all right? <sighs> hey, you heading back alone? You heard that talk about it being safer to go home in groups, right? You should walk with us. to talk about something? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been having these weird dreams lately. I keep hearing this distant voice, like someone far away is calling out to me. It keeps getting closer and closer, but just when it seems like they've almost found me, I wake up. And I keep having that dream every night. Kinda getting to me. I wish someone could tell me what it all means. Probably a reflection of something subconscious. Maybe you're just stressed over the future. It would make sense, since... Something going on? 
looks like. Here, I'll go check it out. Young man, if you wish to live, take my hand. Until then, may your newfound power guide your survival. Young man, can you hear me? You and I. That You seem worn out from that lap. This world is filled with Magatsuhi. Brit the lights you see around us are the crystallized forms of Magatsuhi. What? Young man, can you not see them? Were you able to see them? Yes, those are Magatsuhi crystals. Magatsuhi can give us strength as well. If you see any, don't hesitate to claim it for yourself. Hmm. <laughs> 
Observe, young. After... Located a Mimon. I got this. Project. Young man. Young man. We'll be slapping you on the menu too!
Young man. Hmm. You wished... You wished... Well done, young. I was what?
Oh, glad you're okay. It's you, right? I know you look different, but somehow I can feel it. It's still you in there. Take a look. That's a lot of rust, but I'd know that green stripe anywhere. This train car's from the Yamanote line. But if this is the train, then what exactly happened here? What could have possibly happened to Tokyo while we were in that tunnel? What? That makes no sense. Why would the train be here anyway? Never mind. We need to focus on getting more information. First, we need to regroup with the other students. Dazai was around there too, if I recall. What? Abducted? A host of demons is trying to drag Tokyo into darkness. And we have the power to stop them. I'm not just trying to protect myself. I'm fighting to save everyone. Look out! What the hell? Where'd he come from? That creature is Glaciolabilis, better known as the Beast of Bloodshed. Okay. Who are you? I am Yoko Hiromine. Now let's kill this thing. Got away. You said you were Hiromine, right? We appreciate the help. Don't mention it. Happy to help out. So what are your names, then? Great. Well, I'm Yuzuru Atsuta. And this is... We're students over at Join High School, actually. I can't believe that thing. I've seen it before. That demon came at me at Shinagawa Station. I lost track of it at Takanawa Tunnel, right when the earthquake hit. When I came to, I was here, though I'm not sure where here is. My story's about the same. I was out on the road near Takanawa Tunnel. The next thing I knew, I was in this wasteland. I heard someone talking, and then I noticed the demon preparing to pounce. We lucked out, then. This place is definitely dangerous. And that's about all we know right now. So I think you should probably go with him. It'll be much safer that way. We should split up and see what we can find out. Sounds good. Let's go.
थे Let's work together. Young man, wait. Hey, long time no. Young man. I shall continue to provide support.
Young man. He's super scary. Young.
Young man, I will want... Let's work together. Listen. <laughs> yes.
Is this demon to your love? To a mutual... Uh -huh. Is this demon to your life? To a mutual benefit. Return. Young man. And so the Hydra is slain. As I said earlier, the...
exactly. Young man. This was the courage to Was that truly the best an angel could do? Oh. Uh -huh. Quite rare to see a human in these parts. How fortunate we should meet. Allow me to guide you to a most sacred place. Where are we? This is the sacred home where the Kadishtu offer up prayers to our god. The most hallowed resting place of the Mother. The primordial chaos who shall one day awaken again. Rejoice and be glad, servants of the Horned God. For this day, you have the honor of being a sacrifice to Mother. I, Nama of the Kadishtu, command you. Now wail and lament. Your anguish shall become the Magatsuhi that I seek. a surprise. Just who are the two of you? Your power is far greater than that of ordinary humans. Regrettably, I am unable to offer you in tribute, so I suppose I must release you for now.
yet. I will not forget this indignity. I hereby vow to tear you apart with my own hands. Resurrection. It looks like we made it back. Who in the world was that demon? Just now, I felt the presence of a powerful demon. What transpired here? We were attacked, and we defended ourselves. That's all. I see. Then you humans have routed our enemy. You must be commended for such a feat. We didn't do it for you, so there's no need to thank us. Regardless, any happenstance which benefits the preservation of order is cause for celebration. A question for you two paragons of strength. Do you know of the Tokyo Diet Building? Up ahead is a Bethel stronghold. Unfortunate souls who have wandered into Dot are being provided shelter there. If you are seeking a safe place to rest, make for the Tokyo Diet Building. Now, I take my leave. Listen well. Thank <laughs> you. 
careful. I'm detect... those slain angels my name is Nua prepare to die I thought you'd be cleaning up the stragglers, but he looks like no angel I've seen. Yakumo! My name is Shohei Yakumo. Well, it looks like we've avoided another fight for now. But we'd better not let our guard down. I am the goddess. Isn't it? That's why my... I won't ask you to understand my motivations, but you had better not stand in my way. You're the one who attacked us first. Maybe keep a better handle on your other half before you begin preaching about grandiose ideals. <laughs> I'm not so easily provoked. But I see you don't shy away from a confrontation. 
Very well. I will remember you. Oh, what's this? It seems dear Yakumo has taken a liking to you both. Further within is a transportation device. The same design as the one Bethel's trying to use. Use it to return to the Tokyo you know so well. Maybe you'll see the truth. See gods and demons alike fighting over humanity, and Tokyo caught in the crossfire. <laughs> Until we meet again. Please, no! Not another one! Uh, hold up a sec. I know that face. Is that you? Come on, it's me! Ichiro Dazai! I cannot tell you how happy I am to see you! But, uh... You do look a little different. Whoa, damn! So all this new look of yours is because you fused with that Aogami guy? Cool. So who's that? Yoko Hiramine, and I can hear you. We met on the way here. Hey. Good to see everyone made it here in one piece. Huh? Atsuta? Yuzuru freaking Atsuta? I got here the same as you. I was in the Takanawa Tunnel. I'm glad we all made it out okay. And since we're all together again, I think you should decide where we go next. Yeah, lead the way. Hey, hey! Oh, well, well, that was a big surprise. Hey, uh, I'm not. This is Algami from the Bethel Japanese branch. Do you copy? Algami? Is in the unit from way back when? I have successfully reactivated, returning to base. I don't believe it. I'm gonna have to report this, but you're clear to come through. Touching the terminal should bring you straight here. Looks like we'll be able to head back to the Tokyo we call home. We've arrived. Is this... Are we back in Tokyo? Yes. This is Joeyn University's medical research lab. We came here through the Bethel terminal. That form just now. Explain yourself. Archangel Abdiel. Thank you. 
Am I to understand you went against the condemnation? Answer, boy. Bethel will have no mercy for one who violates the will of God. Wait! Master Abdiel! I don't know what led to this, but he is an innocent bystander. Please forgive him. The saint. Furthermore, we both know God's laws are not so easily broken. Unbreakable, even. Then, how would you account for this? Allow the Japanese branch to look into it. Though, what I can tell you is that this is the one they lost all those years ago. <laughs> Respectfully, Master Abdiel, I heard you were in command at the time. In which case, I would have imagined you'd be elated by the return of your subordinate, not angered by it. Very well. However, I am placing full responsibility on the Japanese branch to investigate. Man, talk about scary. What's up with her? So that's the Archangel in charge of headquarters. I was starting to worry about all of you. Nevertheless, welcome back. I think an explanation is in order. Would you mind joining me in the meeting room? Now, where do I start? Oh, but first, who are you? Your uniform is from St. Marina Girls High School, right? I'm Yoko Hiramine. For personal reasons, I'm not actually attending school right now. We met her in this version of Tokyo that looked like a wasteland. She helped us when we were attacked by a demon. Oh, I should probably mention that I'm working with the Bethel Japanese branch, and I have the power to fight demons. But how are you able to fight against them? I've possessed this strange power for a long time. Some have even called me a saint. My potential was even recognized at school, and I was taught how to exercise demons. Learned at school, huh? Fascinating. I'm the same way, Hiromine. I've had spiritual powers ever since I was little, and everyone at Bethel calls me the saint. I'm using my abilities to work with the Japanese branch, just like Atsuta. But never mind that for now. I should explain about that world of demons you saw. If I told you the Tokyo... Huh? Eighteen years ago, something happened in the Chiyoda Ward of Tokyo that suddenly erased the city from the rest of Japan. Its population of over ten million people was wiped out in a matter of minutes, lost to the netherworld. 
What are you talking about, Isonokami? We've been living in Tokyo as far as I can tell. You want to try explaining that? The Tokyo you're referring to is an act of God. Through his miracle, Tokyo and its people were perfectly recreated. No one suspected a thing. An act of God, 18 years ago. You mean everything up until now? It's all been fake? That's impossible. The real Tokyo has been completely overrun by demons. As if one Tokyo wasn't enough, the demons now covet the other, and all for our souls. Though we are few, that is what the Bethel Japanese branch fights to protect. I hope the saint has cleared things up for you. Apologies for dragging you into this. Hey, uh... Haven't I seen you somewhere before? My name is Koshimizu. I'm in charge here, in addition to being Japan's Prime Minister. Wait, as in Director Koshimizu? One of the top-ranking officials in the Japanese branch? He and the Prime Minister are the same person? Indeed. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Atsuta. Now that you've been made aware of what happened to the real Tokyo, it's best I enlighten you as to the true state of the world. To put it plainly, the forces of order and chaos are currently clashing behind the scenes, locked in an ongoing battle unbeknownst to mankind. Demons seek human souls. If given the chance, they would flood the real world in an instant. They are extremely dangerous. That's why Bethel Japan is dedicated to protecting Tokyo and keeping the demons at bay. The demons are relentless, however, and the unfortunate truth of the matter is that we're woefully lacking in manpower. In fact, Bethel's strength is so short of the mark, we've been forced to rely on students such as Isonokami and Atsuta for help. I heard the report. So, you're a demon exorcist from St. Marina Girls High School. That place is HQ's jurisdiction, but I'll put in a word. Could I ask for your strength in service of Tokyo? N no way! Is that something I could help with too, Mr. Prime Minister? You mean protecting Tokyo? I yeah! I'll do whatever I can! Does I? Look, I'm borderline useless at school, and I'm always making trouble for other people. But even a guy like me wants to be someone people can turn to, just like the honor students. Thank you. I admire your courage. I've heard about you, so you fused with Algami, is that it? I'll be asking for you. Good to see you're on our side. You as well, Hiromine. Would you lend us your demon exercising abilities? If I can operate alongside him, then I'll do it. I have no objections. Thank you for your assistance. I'm thankful the Proto-Fiend returned safely, though I've never heard of it fusing with a human before. I played a role in Algami's creation myself. I'll be running a variety of tests later. Algami, I'd like to examine your memory data. Make your way to the research facility later today. Understood. I'll visit with the rest of you some other time. For now, I want you to go home and get some rest. Sir! And lastly, Yuzuru Atsuta. Well done in coming back unharmed. Your summoning skills must have improved. I'll be sure to grant you an even stronger demon companion next time. Thank you, sir.
So this is the Bethel Japanese branch. It looks like we really are back in Tokyo. I'm relieved we were able to escape the Netherworld. Thank you. Yo! Right. Right. I should have... Do... I'm glad... We should probably head back. We've got school tomorrow. Speaking of which, what about her? I should get going as well. I'll see you later. Right. Hello. Well, my hands. Did you know? All gods in existence were born of a single entity, sprung forth from the one ruler of this world. When the reign of a god begins, tradition dictates that a new world shall rise, manifested of the god's knowledge. However, the knowledge of the gods was stripped away and settled instead into the paltry souls of humanity. Hence the gods no longer possess the capacity for creation. All this is the doing of the creator. It is the law. The order he brought forth upon assuming his mighty throne. In this world the God of Law has forged, humanity continues to evolve and to thrive. But his so-called order is nothing more than a glorified cage. In ancient times, humanity had true freedom. Your form is that of the ancient gods, Nahobino. There are none who stand closer to the throne than you. You must learn the true shape of the world, as it was always meant to be. It is imperative that your eyes be opened.
man. All rise. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Today we have a transfer student joining our class. This is Yoko Hiromine. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I hope we get along. As of today, she is a fellow student, so help her out with whatever she may need. That's it for today, everyone. All rise. Thank you, sir. I transferred over here since we'll be working together for a while. Likewise. I'll be counting on you and Algami quite a bit here. And, of course, I'm here to help you as well. So if you need anything, let me know. Well, anyway, I would have loved to walk home together. But apparently I have to talk to some teachers. I'll see you later, okay? Take care. it I taught Dazai how to summon demons afterwards.
Hey there. Thanks for coming. Well, it's about Sahori. I mean, Sahori Itsukishima from school. She's my friend. Probably the best friend I have. It's just... I think she's being bullied. We used to be in lacrosse together, but she had to quit last year after a big accident. And that's when all this started. The old club members, they really resented her. A few people quit because Sahori's training regimen was just too much for them. She just wanted to make sure we were the best team we could be. You think there's anything I can do to help? I already tried that, but Sahori doesn't want to say anything herself. The teacher said the faculty can't take action without something ironclad, like evidence or a statement. And if she won't talk... You can't count on their help. What do you mean? I'm sorry. I didn't intend to eavesdrop on you, so... Oh no, it was my fault for not noticing. In any case, apologies. I'll be on my way. Uh, hey! If you have an idea, I'll listen to it. I'm open to anything at this point. Whatever it is, I'll listen. There's no sense talking to the teachers, and passive support is just useless. What? <laughs> You're thinking in half measures. If you want to save your friend, that won't be enough. The only real way to help is to step in, do something directly to stop those who hate her. You really want to help? Then ask yourself if you're willing to kill the girls bullying her. To... kill them? I just... I want to stop the bullying. And Sohori... she wouldn't want that either. No. There is nothing she could want more. When trapped in a cycle... Victims of abuse only want one thing. They want to take revenge. Hiromine, that... I'm sorry. It wasn't my place to say. For listening to me. I'm... I'm gonna think about it some more. Compiling data on the proto fiend.
Previously undiscovered data located. Analyzing. Analysis complete. Looks like we are picking up traces of our target. The corrupted areas have also been properly restored. Rebooting Ogami. The blasphemous might of the Nahobino. I don't know where this power came from, but I trust you'll come to our aid, brother. Gather more. I must have more Magatsuhi. for my beast to hunt. Young man! Now you've bested me. I am impressed. But as much as I desire a long chat with you. It seems trouble has arrived. We'll have to talk some other time. What's this? It appears we were too late. You must be the one who drove Nama away then. Your meddling was uncalled for. But 
I will commend you for mustering the strength to prevail. Even among her kin, that one seems to have a particular lust for blood. She may very well have come here alone, looking to quench her thirst. In which case, we can't assume the others will follow. Speaking of guests from the Netherworld, shouldn't you be on your way? It seems the barrier protecting Tokyo has been broken. Demons have begun flooding in. The barrier was likely positioned at Jozoji Temple. I suggest we hurry there. I doubt Bethel's angels will stand a chance. Why don't you go see for yourself? <laughs> Until we meet again. I received reports that Bethel was sending reinforcements. Am I to assume that would be you? You may call me Goko. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hmm. I thought this was our first meeting, but I am mistaken. I see now, you are the one who slew the Hydra. Jozoji is critical to Tokyo's defenses. We have assisted Bethel to ensure the city's safety. Unfortunately, the most recent attack by the Demons of Chaos has shattered our barrier. They follow the demon Lamu, and even now the Legion makes their way towards Join High School. I suggest you make your way there to stop them. Energies detected. It would seem demons have infested your school. Ah, uh, I'm glad you're here. Did you come to help? Better hurry. It's starting to get bad in there. There was a demon that seemed to be in charge. I can take you to him. Very well, let's go. With our power, we can drive them back.
today. It's Lamu. He's got one of the schoolgirls. Understood. Why do you hesitate? This world is no place for a servant of evil. We have no choice. Both demon and human must be purged. He's a serious threat. We have to put him down fast. Wait. taken upstairs. I have to save her. Are you planning to go alone? Ethel is too busy trying to protect the whole city. Besides, I don't know if I can trust the angels to save anyone who's made contact with a demon. I know I wouldn't. I can't just stand by and watch. I have to do something. I don't want to have any more regrets. So, what's your plan? Huh? His plan? We, or should I say he, was already going after Lamu anyway. If he wants, we could all go and save your friend together. All our goals align. Kill Lamu and save that girl. And with the Saint's power, we will have a greater chance of success. Then it's settled. Thank you both. I'll do whatever I can.
Your reputation precedes you, young man. I am Hayatero, currently assigned to support Sire Yuzuru. Good, you're here. This is Hayatero, a sacred beast of Bethel and my partner. He'll be assisting us with the mission. I must say, their barbarity truly knows no bounds. Yes, they've proven they truly are shameless. It seems they've attacked a number of students, even kidnapping some of them. I hope me up. The current plan is for Hayatoro and I to search this area for students. I'll ask that you do the same elsewhere, so we can cover more ground. Dazai should be somewhere giving his demon summoning program its first real trial as well. Let's give it our all for the sakes of our classmates. Miyazu is all right. You want to help her too? If we can, definitely, but... Well, I think Yuzuru can probably handle it. So that means it's up to me to save Sahori. Rescuing her is my absolute priority. It's you! Nearly gave me a heart attack there! So, uh, I think I kinda underestimated this whole fighting thing. Like that honor student, Atsuta? Now he's impressive. 
went right up to those demons, no sweat. And then you got me. And it's because I couldn't get it together that all the students... What the hell was I thinking? Like some dropout like me could ever do that kind of stuff. Really? You mean... Even you get scared? No, I, I can't do it! Does I? It's an understandable reaction. Not everyone has what it takes to fight demons. I'm worried about him, but I need to focus on Sahori first. Agreed. He has the demon summoning program, so he should at least be able to defend himself. Watch out for humans, too, just in case they're actually demons. Demons prey on human weakness, though that's hardly exclusive to demons. But you did well staying focused, even during an ambush. Uh, oh, um... Thanks. But help me understand something. You've mentioned wanting to help your friend. However, trying to stop bullying is one thing. But don't you think fighting demons is too dangerous? Oh, I guess it's more dangerous. But to me, they're not that much different. My friend is in trouble, and I want to help her. It doesn't matter if it's bullies or demons or anything else. I'll do whatever I have to. I thought a lot about your advice, Hiromine. And I've decided that I'll do anything for Sahori. But don't overdo it. Your friend won't be happy if you get yourself killed trying to save her. I am observing a change in the Saint's personality and behavior. It seems to be due to Yoko's influence. Did something happen while I was away? I see. I understand now that human behavior can be greatly affected by emotion. Young man, will you also change as you continue to interact with different people? Well, regardless of what may happen, rest assured that I will always protect you. What's the plan? No.
young man. Trying that? After it never worked all the times I said it to you? When you were punching me, kicking me, destroying my stuff. But now... Now you understand. Please don't hurt me. I... Sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I could have done something before it... it got to be so bad. You're not the one who needs to feel sorry, Tao. You did enough. You reached out to me, and that's all you could do. But I... I was the one who pushed you away. You're innocent. You don't deserve to be dragged into all this. It's all... Mine to bear. All this... this hatred... So I'm going to give them exactly the death they deserve.
Because you were here, Tao. I promise I'll always be here. Such a shame. Had you but known the truth, you will not recreate this world. But your knowledge, your knowledge will serve. Its destruction is at hand. I, Lilith of the Kadishtu, shall return the world to its true form. The school did prove to be a fruitful target. Indeed, there was much Magatsuhi to harvest. And yet, disposing of the students so quickly was imprudent. Their suffering would have ultimately served us much greater in the end. the threat to thine enemies remains, O oh, pitiable saint. The throne is in danger. Now, arise! What? Sahori? What happened to Sahori? That knowledge sustained too much damage. 
It rests now in a place beyond your reach. <gasps> Despair not. For now your true purpose may be fulfilled. Your destiny has come to pass. With the powers you have been granted, you may revive all of the lives that were lost here. To that end, you must find one who can save this mournful world, who can raise it up. And once they are found, you must guide them. It is your duty and destiny to guide them to the throne. Find someone who can save this world. And guide them. Are you alright? Yeah. I think I'm okay. Thank you, Yoko. I guess... That means I... Right. I have to do this. I have to save everyone. Listen to me! You are in over your goddamn head, Dazai! Atsuta! So what? This is where you prove you can fight? You think you can just fly in and be a hero? <laughs> if only... If you could have fought, then maybe you wouldn't have gotten my sister kidnapped! Calm yourself, Atsuta. Take a breath. He doesn't need you to tell him. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's my fault. That's why I have to do something to make it right. Oh yeah? We don't even know if she's alive. Miyazu's alive. I know it. He's on a coming. We gotta get you to a doctor. I'm okay, really. What about Miyazu? How do you know she's still alive? Because I'm a saint, I guess. I can sense Miyazu. I can feel the presence of people I'm close to. Huh? Wait, for real? Then we gotta go save her, like now! Isunokami... You're... Please let me come with you. I have to do this. The gate the demons used is still open. We can get to the netherworld there. Let's move. kind of disaster. This isn't the same region as before. Best stay careful. Hayatoro and I will take point and scout ahead for a sign of Miyazu. Hold up. This is my fault. I... I'm gonna go with them too. I've started picking up some vital signs nearby. 
I suspect they belong to the kidnapped students. Designating the Netherworld as Dot in accordance with Bethel's databanks. Wait, what? Hey there, stranger! Oh, long time no see, huh? Oh, so your friends got nabbed by the demons! I was actually just about to check this place out. You want me to come with you, huh? A word? Stay alert. Let's go, young man. Nahobina, I have something for you. This is a menorah. It was brought here from another world. I am certain my giving this to you raises many questions. However, I am not permitted to answer. But hear me well, this menorah can either bring you great power, or deliver you to an untimely end. Those who carry the menorah beckon the avatars of death. You must all... Is this demon to your... Return when you have gathered more. Young man. Mm. No.
Yes. to do something. to do something.
Oh, you want some? Well, do ya? <laughs> You want some? Well, do ya? Yes. Young man. Um... Exactly. No! I can help. Then it's settled. Detecting life readings in the vicinity.
Detecting a new vital region. I will display the point of origin. Do you have a moment? I see. Let us go, young man. Hey, man! Yeah. Sorry. What? Huh. Sorry. Yeah. Welcome to the world. Look into this. 
Is this demon to your liking? I will fight at your side. Is this demon to your like? Let us smite our enemies. No question. Return.
want some? Well, do ya? The knowledge of rulers. You are does. With certain. <laughs> oh, you want some? Well, do ya? Thank you. Please!
I am in your debt. No. Young man. salvation. No one will dare call your eyes ugly ever again. Get away from her! salvation to That's horrible. I'll do what I can to treat her. I can help. Wait. Hey. 
I... That demon spoke of salvation, but she was only using the word to serve her own purposes. If that demon is not dealt with, she will only leave more casualties in her wake. I agree with the saint. We should pursue. No. Um... Um... This is my duty. Yes. No. My last reading of the escaped demon. Powerful demonic signature detected. Best for...
Yes. Welcome to the... You wish... You wish... Ret As I thought. I, Fionn McCool, shall test your strength.
What does that mean? I see. You're attempting to rescue your friends from the demons, are you? I apologize for my hastiness. Although you can see how you played a part in it as well, I'm sure. When I saw a demon escorting a human on their own here, naturally I became very suspicious. We were sent by Bethel. Bethel? Ah, you mean the servants of that god. So, you're looking for the other humans. Oh, have you seen more people dressed like me? If you're referring to the students that the demons had abducted, I've already assisted them. Though, I admit I don't know whether or not that was all of them. They are at a fairy village southwest from here. The fairies there are sheltering them. A fairy village? Wonderful. Thank you so much. This land has been plagued by a band of dangerous demons lately. They call themselves the Kadishtu. You would best serve yourselves by leaving quick as you can. That may be the case, but I need to help my friend. I understand. Then, please show an abundance of caution as you make your way. May we meet again, should fate deem it so. We should tell Yuzuru about the fairy village. Maybe Miyazu is there. Okay, I've sent him a message. Hopefully he'll head there right away. We should get going as well. Young man.
Welcome. You wish... You. Hmm. Young man. Multiple life readings from the sun. Everyone, have you seen Miyazu? Miyazu? You mean she's not here? No sign of her. I met someone named Fion who apparently rescued a lot of the students, but Miyazu wasn't among them. I was hoping you might have found her. Sounds like I was a fool to get my hopes up. After all Miyazu's already gone through, why is this happening to her? Why did she have to live in such a goddamn broken world? Broken? What do you mean, Yuzuru? Our world is unfair by design. If we really were created by some all-loving god, why didn't he give all people an equal chance at happiness? Innocent people get born into pain they can't escape and don't deserve. What do you call that but proof that our world's fundamentally broken? I guess that's one way to look at all this. So, are you going to keep looking for your sister? Yes, of course. I need to get back to the search. No matter what happens, I will save her. I have to. So, what's your plan? Then it's settled. Huh. 
No, sí, sí. Um, that's right. What's your plan? I can help. Sounds good.
Great. That should take care of everyone's injuries. And so, now all we need to do is find the other students. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I couldn't save her. Does I? Back over the hill, I found the demons that took Atsuta's sister, and I tried to save her, but... I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. I told Atsuta on the way here, but... I don't know. I don't think he can handle it alone. Please, you... you gotta help him. No! No. Well... Yes. I can help. Young man. How 
his sister suffers. She told me all about how she hates her weak, sickly body. No, don't do it! And if I kill him, Miyazu's free to go. You swear it? Sire Yuzuru, you cannot mean to do this. You must see reason. I give the orders. You obey me. Still, I'm sorry. Pathetic. So much for all your brotherly determination. Does I? <laughs> Holy crap! I did it! Awesome! Miyazu! Where's Yuzuru? Yuzuru! She's okay! She's safe! How dare you! Dare you interrupt at the moment of salvation? That's quite enough, Aishith. You and Nama disgrace us all. So deeply shameful. Quiet, you whelp! The salvation of these cursed souls is my duty. The Nahobino's power is unexpected, but no matter. With our power combined, we can end him! 
The crow of crows has taken roost nearby. We've been ordered back. You shall obey. <laughs> so be it. Atsuta, you okay? I'm sorry, everyone. I couldn't protect Miyazu. And even worse, I betrayed my friends. I... I... This is what demons do. They find the weakness in your heart and take advantage of it. Yeah, I mean... It's not good that you were manipulated, but... You were ready to do whatever it took to protect someone you care about. I know exactly how that feels. Atsuta, I've been thinking about what you said. How the world's unfair and broken. I'm sure there are more people suffering out there than we'll ever know. Having to deal with a fate they don't deserve. I think that's exactly why it's up to us to figure out how to make the world a better place. We have to believe that we can build a better future. For everyone. We have to try. You're quite the optimist. Wish I could put that kind of trust in our future. What does it look like to you? I agree. We can work together. Make that our future. Turned to salt. All of them. Not just the students, but all the fairies, too. What could have happened here? can. I think Bethel Japan needs to hear about this.
Aha. Welcome to the world of Sha- Is this demon to your life? I am at your side. Return. you're here. Atsuta has already informed me of the latest developments. What happened to those students is a tragedy, but I'm afraid Tokyo experienced its own peculiar occurrence while you were away. Its own peculiar occurrence? Yes, we've found people in Tokyo turned to salt, much like what was reported about the fairy village. What? It's exceedingly unlikely that this could be the work of a human. A demon must be behind it. Unfortunately, that is the extent of my knowledge on the situation. In light of this crisis, Bethel HQ has decided to take action. They aim to hit the forces of chaos with everything they have. It will be a wide-scale operation involving the organization's most powerful legions, from Europe to Asia. However, we will not be taking part. We won't? And HQ's okay with that? With the number of demon attacks in the city on the rise, we've been ordered to maintain peace in Tokyo. To that end, I would like you to assist with the investigation and cessation of the current threat. I appreciate your cooperation. I'll be counting on you to gather more intel on the matter. Report back to me once you know more. Hey, mind if we talk for a second? I just wanted to let you know that Miyazu is at Joeen University Hospital now, and it seems like she's doing all right. I know I'm probably the last person you want to talk about this with, but I thought you should know. Yeah, thanks to you. I... I wasn't able to save her. After our parents passed away, I felt that it was my responsibility to keep Miyazu safe. But having the power to summon demons isn't enough. I need to be stronger. Strong enough to protect everyone from... the unfairness of this world. Uh, 
sorry. Anyway, I'm going to stay with Miyasu for a little longer. Whoa! Hey! <sighs> hey! <sighs> hey. My hands are tied. Moment of your time? Huh? <laughs> okay. Yes. Um. Yes. Isunokami, it's good to see you. Well...
You're back. I take it you've made some progress in your investigation. Let's hear your report. We heard a lot of reports about a fortune teller and a large crow at the sites where people turn to salt. Hmm. A fortune teller and a large crow. So it sounds like these two points are confirmed. How can you be so sure? As it would happen, we've found more humans turned to salt in this area since I sent you to investigate. From what we've heard, it seems like all of the victims had contact with a fortune teller. There have also been reports of a large crow being sighted close to the scene. Given the similarities between the intel we've both gathered, it's unlikely this is a coincidence. The culprit must be a demon, or someone working for demons. We also heard that the victims felt sick before they turned to salt. Hmm. Well, unless we can confirm that all victims felt sick before turning, we'll consider it hearsay for the time being. In any case, after reviewing what we know, that crow definitely seems suspicious. I'm going to have Hayatoro track it down. That should give us a good lead. Bethel Japan will know as soon as there are any developments. In the meantime, you can all return to the dorm for the day. Good work.
Young man, are you all right? You haven't had time to rest since before we left for Dot. I see. You're stronger than I realized then. But I'm relieved to hear it. But something troubles me. We saw those students turn to salt at the fairy village in Dot. Now, the same thing seems to be happening in Tokyo. Two separate incidents across two worlds. Do you believe the attacks are connected? With a perfect match of such hyper-specific circumstances, it does seem likely that the same culprit is behind both. A fortune teller named Agra and a crow of crows spotted nearby. These clues will lead us to the truth. In any case, we can only wait for Hayatoro's report. We'll decide our next move after that. After all you've endured, you must be tired beyond words. Use the remaining hours of today to rest. Human lives are so woefully short. They forget, and they have lost the peace that once was. It is a most regrettable truth. No more are the days in which the humans of old lived free. No more do they worship Great Mother Earth. Nahobino. This world in which you must live was brought into being when a god rose and assumed the throne. The gods clash over its power, and the victor rules a world in their image. Such is the cycle. Each in their time to mold the world as they will. And yet, the god of this world, the creator, still he was not satisfied with the way things had been. He broke the cycle in a bid to perpetuate his rule. He stripped the gods of their knowledge, reducing them to lowly demons. So he rose, the one and only ruler of the world, his reign infinite and unchallenged. As time flowed on, more came to pass. The people of his world followed him, imposing their will on others beneath. With rule came royalty, and the world split. Those with power, and those without. You can see clearly that the world is fractured now. On one side the oppressors, and on the other side the oppressed, yes. We, the Kadishtu, abhor this divide. We seek only to bring this world freedom again. How are you feeling? If you're all right, then let's head to Bethel, Japan. Maybe they can tell us something.
Ah, perfect timing. Hayataro has returned with new intel. Locating the aforementioned crow was not difficult. However, there were times when it would suddenly disappear. I suspect it to be traveling back and forth between Tokyo and the Netherworld. I cannot follow it directly, but fear not. After following its scent, I have an idea as to where in the Netherworld it went. We found a portal at Jozoji Temple that connects to the Netherworld. I'll be sending Atsuta and Dazai, but could I ask you two to go as well? The saint will be joining you at the temple. I hope you can uncover the cause of this phenomenon. Yoko, did you hear from the director? This is where we can track down that crow that escaped to the netherworld. I'd like you two to come with me to Shinjuku. Let me know when you're ready to go. So the crow is somewhere around here. I wonder if we have a real chance at finding it. Let's remember to be careful. We don't know what's lurking around. In from Bethel, Japan. Detected. It is our duty to safeguard this land. In the name of the Lord, we shall grant death to the intruders. without trying to hear us out at all. And why are angels even here if Bethel is supposed to be fighting the armies of chaos? They were genuinely trying to kill us. We'd better watch ourselves.
Young man. Young man. Stay alert.
You should return. So, what's your plan? Wait! Sounds good. Welcome to the world. demons nor angels of this plane. Oh, I'm with Bethel's Japanese branch. These are my friends. We're not your enemy. This land is under the direct protection of those in service of the Archangel. You intruders cannot be allowed to pass. No, wait! We don't want to fight! In the name of the Lord, we shall grant death to the intruders. on. 
on. The angels aren't listening to us at all. Tao, we should probably consider these angels enemies. Yeah. I think you're right. Sorry. <laughs> I see. Hey. Well... What does it look like to you? Yes. I do feel something. We'd better watch ourselves. Detected. We've received a request for aid. We must make haste. In the name of the Lord, we shall grant death to the intruders. More intruders? I guess there are others here besides us? The angels might be looking for the Kaddish too as well. 
Maybe they found them. If that's the case, maybe we should follow them. Appears a new face has joined you since last we met. Do you know us? Who are you? Nua, and that's Shohei Yakumo. So you're the ones from the Tokyo Diet Building. I take it you've come in pursuit of the Kadish too. People have been turning to salt in both the Netherworld and Tokyo. We came here to find out who's behind it. What are your thoughts? Think the Kaddish too are involved? No. That isn't how those demons prefer to operate. It was done to set an example. As more victims turn to salt, humans grow more fearful of the wrath of a supernatural being. I'm sure you're aware of a group that delights in holding such attention. Now that you mention it, I have heard of a story like this. Those who refused to heed God's warnings were turned to salt as punishment. What? If you want to know who's responsible, then find the one who leads these angels. Though I'm sure you found some areas difficult to access thanks to those vexatious cherubim. I could simply dispose of them directly, but you may consider hunting the angels nearby instead. Doing so may cause the cherubim to leave their posts. I see. Because they will be called in as reinforcements. Exactly. Whether you were investigating the salt statues or pursuing the Kadishtu, you will need to get past the Cherubim either way. Um, why are you telling us all this? Is it not enough for us to simply wish to help a young group fighting for their future? I'd bet you just want us to draw attention, so it's easier for you to get where you're going. <laughs> Think whatever you want. Well, I guess we should look around for angels then. So, there is a possibility that the angels may be involved with the salt statue incidents. What do you think this means? That could certainly be the case. However, I'd like to propose another possibility. I suspect it was an angel that turned the students to salt. Still, this is merely speculation at the moment. Once we meet the angel in command, everything will become clear. We should remain focused as we proceed. Objective confirmed.
intruders detected. It is our duty to safeguard this land. In the name of the Lord, we shall grant death to the intruders. not enough. Call for reinforcements. Did you hear that? Think that was an order for the cherubim? Let's go see. Welcome. You wish. You wish. You wish. You wish. You wish. You wish. You wish.
<laughs> Sounds good. But still. Uh, I... Yes. Yoko. I'm sorry.
So I see you've made it through. It's you again. Just standing around waiting for us? Don't dare tell me you are concerned. Call it a whim of mine. Besides, there is the worst case to consider. Never mind that. The Kaddish two are plotting something here. Do you have an idea what they're after? We know they're gathering Magatsuhi for something. That's right. And once they have enough, their next move will most likely be at that large building. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building? Correct. Can you feel the massive power growing there? I imagine they liken that building to an ancient shrine. A fitting venue to summon a god. Summon a god? Sites that reach the skies have been associated with gods since ancient times. And this one doubles as a symbol of authority. It suits the beckoning of a god. What are the Kadishtu going to do once this ritual is complete? Who can say? Perhaps they'll try to use its power to destroy the throne. Much like us. The throne? Yakumo. So, what is your goal then? What kind of world are you trying to create? I want a world where people can truly live freely. Humanity has been used and discarded by gods and demons alike. Only by eradicating both can an ideal world for humans come to be. But if you do that, what about her? I am the goddess that created humanity. My values lie not in my own life like a human's might. Whether I am there or not when Yakumo's world comes to be is of no concern to me. Demons and humans cannot coexist. So you don't think a world in which we can all join together is possible at all? I've said enough. If you don't like my solution, then feel free to find your own. Incoming message from Bethel, Japan. Apologies for the abrupt request, but we have an urgent situation in Tokyo. I'll need you to make your way back to the Japanese branch.
me. Welcome to... Director Kojimizu, what happened? Ah, it's you. I'm glad you're back. Miyazu Atsuta has been abducted from the hospital. Based on the security camera footage on site, we've identified the one responsible as Konsu from Bethel's Egyptian branch. It's okay. I can sense that Miyazu is still safe. But why would the Egyptian branch take her? If I had to venture a guess, it's because Konsu wants to become a Nahobino. Become a Nahobino? Like him? Hmm. Perhaps the time is right to inform you. Eons ago, the gods were gifted with both eternal life and the knowledge of good and evil. In those days, they were known as Nahobino. However, the creator ordered the forfeiture of Nahobino's knowledge. Thenceforth, they regressed into demons. Well, you see, the Creator sealed the demon's knowledge within the Garden of Paradise, inside a forbidden tree. But then came a serpent, who tempted the Garden's inhabitants to eat of the tree's fruit, and thus consume its knowledge. From then on, that knowledge was bound to the human soul and is still passed down throughout the generations, or so the tale is told. In any case, the demons of then and now yearn to reclaim what was lost, and so seek human souls. Yet the union of man and demon remains prohibited. Because those who bear knowledge, namely a Nahobino, pose a threat to God's established order. Doesn't that mean that he would be considered a threat as well? And Konsu too. Konsu's intentions have yet to be made clear, but they will once you confront him directly. I've assessed that retrieving Miyazu Atsuta is of great importance to the Japanese branch. 
I would like all of you to join Yuzuru Atsuda in rescuing her. Where is Yuzuru now? He was understandably upset by this development, so he and Dazai returned to the dorm. I've already sent word that you'd be returning soon yourselves. I recommend meeting with them at the dorm to discuss these events. Um, before that, there's something that's been bothering me ever since we started tracking down the Kadishtu. Do you know someone named Shohei Yakumo? Yes, he's carried out a number of attacks on Bethel-affiliated facilities. Why do you ask? He does seem to be hostile toward Bethel, but he hasn't attacked us. Actually, he's helped us. I think there's more to his actions than just undermining Bethel itself. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. But for the time being, I would like you to focus on rescuing Miyazu Atsuta. Even within Bethel, the Egyptian branch remains enigmatic. The slightest opening could prove fatal. So, stay cognizant of the danger. Listen. You're back now, right? Otsuta's been... Pretty beat up over his sister getting taken. Yasu's gone again. I couldn't protect her this time either. Hey, cheer up. It all worked out last time, so I'm sure it will this time too. And you got us behind you, so let's just... These are demons we're talking about. If you underestimate your enemy, you'll just get yourself killed. I... sorry. I didn't mean to sound all carefree or anything. I was just trying to make you feel better. Uh, come on, man. He thinks you still got a chance, right? Do you? Do you really think there's still time? That we can save Miyazu? See, I told you he did! He does, and I do too. So let's go get her, man!
Thank you. And does I? I really am sorry. No worries. Honestly, kind of cool. Nice to see you're a normal guy. Honor student and all. All right, enough with the honor student. We're friends now, aren't we? Call me Yuzuru. Oh, totally. We're buddies. Yuzuru. So it's only right you call me Ichiro then. where Miyazu is. If we're gonna go save her, then we'd better be quick. Uh, you mean you want to come along with us? Thank you. Then let's move. Young man, though I am an artificial construct, I am aware of the concept of siblings and familial relationships. Therefore, I can comprehend Yuzuru Atsuta's distress at his sister's abduction. He must be carrying pain in his heart, as any other person would. Though I cannot be certain, as I do not have a heart. Apologies for the unnecessary discussion. Let's be off to the Egyptian branch. We will save your friends from their suffering. Looks like this is the Egyptian branch's forward base. Miyazu should be here somewhere. Hey! Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go! of harming Miyazu. I'm not falling for that. You won't get away with taking my sister. <sighs> Miyazu is further in. You can see for yourself if you don't believe me. Miyazu Atsuta seems to be safe for the time being. We have avoided a worst-case scenario. But regardless of her physical well-being, it is still possible that Komsu could be planning to use her to become a Nahobino. We should move forward and get a better understanding of the situation. Thank you. 
I am Khonsu of Bethel, Egypt. What business do you have with me? <sighs> you heard him. Miyazu is coming with us. And after that, what exactly could you do for her? I have watched you and Miyazu for a very long time. Believe me, I understand that you want to keep her safe. However, now that demons have invaded Tokyo, you simply don't have what it takes. I will be the one protecting Miyazu from now on. Time to do the right thing as her brother. Time to stop putting her in danger. <laughs> the hell do you think you are? Stole her from the hospital? What kind of protector does that make you, huh, jackass? Let's go, Yuzuru! We got this guy! We'll get Miyazu by force if we have to! So, it has come to this. Miyazu! I'm so glad to see you. Are you okay? I'm fine, Yuzuru. But please believe me. Konsu was just trying to protect me from the demons. But... I know. You're the one who's been protecting me this whole time. And... You've sacrificed everything in your life just for me. Sacrificed? That's not true at all. We're family. The only family we've got. I know. But I also know that I'm a burden on you. And I don't want to be anymore. Kansu will keep me safe. That way, you can start living for yourself. And if I see that you can do that, then I think I can have hope for my future, too. But if you're still worried about me, please help other people who are suffering like I am. I'm sorry you had to get involved in this, too. But thank you for trying to help me. I apologize as well. I should have done more to keep this peaceful. But I'm sure you understand the threat that the Kadishtu pose. Will you allow us to shelter Miyazu here? Please take good care of my sister. There is something else I should tell you, Nahobino. You are aware that Abdiel is currently commanding Bethel's forces against the Demon King, correct? Well, it appears another Archangel may be making a move. 
His name is Mastema. Archangel Mastema. You might consider him a shadow operative of Bethel, taking the dirtier jobs in the name of God, even commanding demons. I am certain he is working behind the scenes to hunt down the Kadishto. If you use that, you should be able to meet with Mastema. It may be worth your while to speak with him, seeing as how you share a common goal. Thanks, everyone, for helping me with Miyazu. I guess she's stronger than I ever gave her credit for. She doesn't need me anymore. Yuzuru, that's... Sorry, Yuzuru. I couldn't help much. And he ended up doing most of the work. You don't have to be sorry. If there's anyone who wasn't able to help Miyazu, it was me. I... have to think about the last thing she said to me. Yuzuru. Hey, do you have a moment? Back there. Konsu said he'd protect her, and we basically just took him at his word. It's a risk. Do you think we can really afford to believe a demon's promises? Or not? You know what demons can be like. Would we be fools to trust them? Huh. They're actually a lot like humans, aren't they? Some are easy to trust, and some are a different matter altogether. Sorry, I guess that all came out of nowhere. Hey, look, uh, are you gonna go see the Archangel after this? Cause if you are, would you mind taking me with you? Me too. I want to know what Bethel HQ is thinking. I'd like to join as well. Is that all right? Okay. Then once we're all ready, let's go. Young man, I would like to ask for your opinion on recent events. Yuzuru Atsuta had been fighting to protect Tokyo from demons for the purpose of keeping Miyazu, his only family, safe. But his actions created an unintended byproduct, namely an emotional burden on his sister. This led her to leave him and go with Konsu. Human feelings are complex, and it is difficult to ascertain correct courses of action. I am curious as to your thoughts on the matter of Yuzuru and his sister. So, your focus is more on Yuzuru. That is understandable, as he is your friend. Everything he had done up until now had been for the sake of keeping his sister safe, and that purpose gave him strength. But now, his sister has chosen to leave him. I can't help but wonder what will ultimately become of him. The human heart is difficult to understand. 
Even if both sides want what's best for each other, a desirable solution cannot always be reached. But despite that, I believe having such unconditional love and compassion for another is a remarkable quality. Yes. What do you think? I think 
this is the place Konsu was talking about. Well then, let's see if we can summon Mastema. And who is this? Are you messengers for Bethel, Egypt? No, we're with the Japanese branch. Konsu lent us the means to summon you. Indeed. Then let us speak as allies. I am Mastema, an angel in service to the Kingdom of Light. Now, what business do you have with me? Ah, so you would know more of that demon menace. They are beings of darkness, and a grave threat to this world's peace. Our Lord weeps every moment they yet wander free. Because they're attacking people and gathering Magatsuhi? Precisely. Even across the seas in my land of origin, they have schemed in shadows, spreading chaos in their blighted wake. It was in pursuit of them that I arrived in Japan, yet even now they elude their judgment. However, I suspect they visit this land often. Thus have I been maintaining a careful watch here. They would use it as the staging ground for their vile plan, to summon forth a malevolent being who will rebel against our Lord. They're trying to fight God? Indeed. I had hoped that I could apprehend them as they made their move, and so thwart their dark designs. However, given recent developments, I judged that I could no longer afford to lie in wait. Ultimately, I could allow them no further progress toward their aims. Thus, I resolved to cut off their supply of Magatsuhi. You see, those demons choose their targets carefully. Their human targets are hand-picked to win them vast amounts of Magatsuhi. In other words, without humans they have no source of it, and thus, no hope of fruition. What do you think? A perfect countermeasure, no? What do you mean, without humans? Is it not obvious? If humans cannot express their negative emotions, then they will not produce Magatsuhi. What are you getting at? It should be simple enough to demonstrate. And thus, another source of Magatsui is beyond their grasp. Be at peace. I will return him soon enough. But I trust you now understand the situation. 
Some humans have even allied themselves with those demons in their quest for Magatsui. If those agents of chaos succeed in calling their malevolent avatar, the entire human world will suffer. Surely a few sacrifices are nothing in comparison. I... I understand that, but still... Hold on. In that case, what if we beat the Kaddish to ourselves? Oh? A fascinating idea, if possible. That would certainly be a joyous outcome for all concerned. I admit I took no pleasure in turning the people to salt. I even hesitated at the last. If you were instead to strike down those vile demons, I could hardly object to such bold measures. You, Tao, and Yoko, was it? I pray for your success in bringing those agents of evil to justice. What is it? Those demons have appeared near Shinjuku. Our angels are currently engaging them. Well, well, is that so? We could not ask for better timing. Might I have you join them on the field? Dazai, was it? Be not afraid, my child. Let us return you to your natural and destined state. I can hear it cry. The voice of your soul reaches out to the heavens to beg for salvation. I shall free you from the pain and worry that plagues your heart. Be not afraid, for what awaits is grander. Should you so desire it, I shall grant unto you the power of the just, the power to repel evil in the light blessed name of our Lord. You shall smite the demons that array before you. The malevolent and the unjust shall fall by your righteous hand. Power like unto the Nahobino. Me? I could be like him? Indeed. Young Ichiro, heart and soul as pure as light. You could hold the power of absolute justice. It could be yours. Is this not as you have always desired? <laughs> Close your eyes. And prepare to receive our blessing, Ichiro. Hey. Uh, 
I... Hmm. <sighs> That's true. <laughs> Sounds good. Indeed.
Welcome to the world. You wished... You wish to look... You wish...
It's been a while, Nahupino. So guarded at the mere sight of me, I haven't come to fight you today. No, Nahubino. We could make good use of your power. Won't you abandon your cruel god of law and join our side instead? Justice, order, morality, control. <sighs> no matter how the eons change, Bethel's ways do not. They believe themselves so righteous, suppressing and exterminating those who dare to defy their precious regime. It's all so wrong, don't you think so, Nahubino? Talk all you want, but you've taken innocent lives too! They bent the knee to the god of law in body and soul. I promise you, death was a mercy for them. This world's order seems unjust to you, too. Why not join us and embrace freedom? Keep your filthy hands off him! Say what you want! There's nothing you can do to twist us to your side! What now? I see we have unwanted guests. Nahobino, I'll see you soon. I thought I sensed our sworn enemies here. If you're looking for the Kadishtu, she already escaped. I see. We told Archangel Mastema we'd kill them. Now there's a name I wasn't expecting. So he's the one behind this dreadful mess, is he? Hmm. <laughs> Hence the Pillars of Salt. Repulsive as it is, it does clarify things. A shame we miss them, again. By now, I imagine they have almost all the Magatsuhi they need. So they've gone to the other side to finish the job. Certainly possible. Other side? You mean our Tokyo? Why would they go there? That's the idea. They're obsessed with gathering Magatsui, and they'll do whatever serves that aim. If they're going to Tokyo for Magatsuhi, does that mean... I can sense an otherworldly presence within the Metropolitan Government Building. I imagine we don't have much time. If they're in Tokyo, no doubt they're busy siphoning the populace of all the Magatsuhi they need. We can't let them hurt more innocent people. Come on, we have to go back.
Good, you're back. The Kadishtu have been wreaking havoc all over Tokyo. While you were tracking down this crow, we've been investigating Josoji Temple and the fortune teller. But people suddenly started collapsing at an alarming rate. We had to issue a citywide lockdown. You went that far? Yes. At first, it was only the people in Josoji Temple who collapsed, but soon enough, it spread to the neighboring areas. It's even affected some Bethel staff. We don't know the exact cause, but for now, we believe it's dangerous to approach the temple. Unfortunately, without knowing why it's happening, we can't respond accordingly. As such, the best we can do is urge the people to keep their distance. I see. No more reports of people turning to pillars of salt, at least. I'll take my mercies where I can. At present, Bethel's at a loss. Without a way to proceed, we were simply awaiting your return. Did you learn anything out there? Those damned angels. After all Bethel's talk of protecting the people, they pull this. And of all angels, the perpetrator was Mastema. So the Kadishtu are using the Metropolitan Government Building to summon a god. If that's the endgame once they've got all their Magatsuhi, I'm thinking it might be connected to everyone collapsing on the spot. Based on your report, it seems safe to say the Kadishtu are at least tangentially connected to the incidents near Josoji Temple. If I had to speculate, they might be using some unknown method to drain Magatsuhi at an accelerated rate. Our findings suggest the source of the problem is in Josoji Temple. Could I ask you to investigate? Then I'm going with you. I want to do what I can to protect the people of Tokyo. That's why I want to keep working with Bethel. Well, with Director Koshimizu. Glad to see you're doing better. I'll be counting on you as well. Hey, we need to talk. There's something I need to tell you, Anahobino. Could we head to the dorm roof? I've made up my mind, and I wanted you to be the first to hear my decision. I'm going to become a Nahobino. I've been doing a lot of thinking about what I can and should do. And walking through Tokyo, I realized there are so many people out there who are suffering like Miyazu always has. Guess it sounds obvious when I say it, huh? Everyone's just trying to get by in life. Up until now, though, I'd only ever cared about my sister. So I've decided I'm going to try and help the people, like I've always helped her. Tokyo's where we both grew up, after all. I don't want anyone to have to suffer the way we did. Now, Director Koshimizu's told me he's Tsukiyomi, a god of Japan's Amatsukami. And me? I miss knowledge. 
If I was willing, he said, I could become a Nahobino myself and use that power to protect all of Tokyo. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to become a Nahobino. Sorry, didn't mean to drag this out so long. Anyways, thanks for hearing me out. That was all I wanted to say. We can head for Jozoji Temple now. Young man. Hopefully we can find some kind of clue here. Do you feel that, Tao? The power. I can't tell what it is, but it's all around. As though it's in the very air here. I do feel something. What the? It's collecting Magatsuhi! Stay back! This thing is a Gadishtu trap, set here to harvest Magatsuhi. Why stop us? We destroyed this and we could end their plans! It is your funeral, my dear. A swell of Magatsuhi like that, if you don't know how to handle it, could simply devastate this entire area. This is my only lead on the witches. If you want to get yourselves killed, find somewhere else to do it. Alas, they have managed to cover their tracks rather well. Always such a shame when the prey is wary of their hunters. They cannot resist a prize of Magatsuhi like this. When they come to retrieve it, then we shall make our move. So then... you're using it as bait? A trap. But a trap that's still active. It's going to keep harvesting from innocence. So it shall. My target is the Kadishtu. So the end justifies the means, then? As long as you get your kill, you don't care about the people. Now, now, there is no need to take such a tone with us. The trap is only wide enough to catch a few hundred humans. A pity to be certain. But rather inconsequential overall. We're after them just like you. We want the Kaddish to stopped. But this? You claim that innocent lives are expendable, but I refuse to believe that's the way! Come on, back me up, guys. We stop them here. We save everyone!
Looks like we win. Time to put this thing in the ground and find a better way. Easter Lakami, you ready? Huh, right. We'll be right back. Stay here. Yakumo. You hate them, gods and demons both. You said you wanted a world for humanity. But your approach here would have gotten people killed. Why don't you care? I told you. The world of humanity has no need for those who side with demons. He makes a good point. You hate the people who side with demons, but you're fine with using their power yourself? Sounds a lot like an excuse. So that you and Nuwa can be together. You're just... a hypocrite. <laughs> in my vision. None. <laughs> Yakumo. So dramatic. That one hurt. The demon is but a means to an end. Nothing more, nothing less. Humans need the will to survive at any cost. And those who lack that strength of will no longer deserve to live. They're back. to shut it down, at least for the time being. Hopefully that'll mean no more victims. We did well. Bethel can take the reins from here and figure things out. Let's head back and report to the director. Yes, sir. We found a trap at Josoji Temple that was set by the Kadishtu. We've temporarily disabled it, so this would be the time for Bethel's researchers to investigate. Understood. I'll mobilize the Japan branch immediately. No sign of the Kadishtu, though. It's entirely possible they'll show up later. Noted. I'll make sure to prepare a security detail. We'll also work on countermeasures to draw the Kadishtu's attention. As for you, the Saint, and Hiromine, could I ask you all to go back to Shinjuku? If the Kadishtu aim to use the Metropolitan Government Building to summon a god, then odds are you'll find them there. If you encounter them, don't hesitate. Engage on sight. Understood. Is Yuzuru not coming with us? Correct. Atsuta will be joining me in tracking down the Kadishtu. 
We'll be sweeping other areas as we make our own way to the government building. If we don't find them, that's where we'll rendezvous. I did not anticipate the system at Jozoji Temple would be shut down. You're one of them. The Kadishtu. Indeed. I am Agret of the Kadishtu. I have also been called Agra the Fortune Teller. So that was you. All those people, 
You made them all sick. It was the most efficient way to gather Makatsuhi. Though, I admit some did not handle it so well. Rest assured, it was calibrated quite precisely so that no one would die. I took pains. Our goal is not to take lives of the innocent mortals in this realm. We simply wish to harvest Makatsuhi. You didn't show up at the temple to collect. Was it because Yakumo was there? <laughs> he is rather frightening, isn't he? I admit we do wish to avoid him. But there was no need to go. It was simply an excess. Aishith, Nama, and I, we have already gathered the necessary Magatsuhi. The realization of our vision is within our grasp. Soon enough, we shall have this entire world enveloped in the embrace of the will of the Kadishtu. You were too late, and your efforts for naught, though you did try so very hard to stop us. Regardless, I don't very much care for how you disrupted my precisely crafted design. So I shall dispense a punishment. May your existence be lost to darkness.
like a good dream. Overcome my spiritual protection. The Nahobino's power is greater than I anticipated. I should not have underestimated you. I apologize. Allow me to make amends. Witness now my full power! I would give up. Focus on the goal at hand, not some silly grudge. Fair enough. Your fate is still sealed. All are fated to perish at the world's end. The reign of the God of Law will soon come to an end. If you still have a mind to stop us, you're welcome at the government building. With this world's demise, your accursed souls will finally find sweetest salvation. been quite the day. Yeah. All right. I think we'd best head over to the government building.
young man.
Soon we will be confronting the Kadishtu for the final time. I am happy to hear that. I remember when we first met and how I swore to protect you. That vow continues to motivate me. And it makes me glad that you find encouragement in it as well. No matter what hardships may await us, as a Nahobino, we will surely prevail. But I've gone on long enough. Once you've prepared, we should make our way to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. This is where they said to find them, but there's no sign of the Kadishtu yet. Long time ago, there lived a primordial goddess, a most benevolent mother who gave birth to many gods. She was a kind mother and noble. She disliked conflict and violence. But then, the horned god came. Seeking his throne, he slew all in his path, and the mother was cut down. Since his rise, the throne has been usurped by descendants of that horned god, for eons upon eons. The perception of that fair, beautiful, free world of chaos became warped and perverted by the reign of so-called order. We want it back. We wish to restore that glorious world. Oh, it has been a long time. I am grateful we could meet this way. 
So grateful to meet you again, Nahobino, Dragon Slayer. Come now, don't you already know? We seek to destroy this world. And to that end, we will resurrect the fallen goddess, the Queen of Chaos. The others have gathered the necessary Magatsuhi. Only one thing remains. For the summoning, we require you, Nahobino. As one of the Dragon Slayer's lineage, your death will serve as a crucial and appropriate sacrifice. Magic is understood to operate based on certain rules. Two similar entities can influence each other. Cause leads to effect, but the effect also has a bearing on the cause. The Horned God slayed the Serpent, or the Dragon, as some call it. But, by using this principle, the Serpent can be revived. By offering the life of the Horned God that slayed the Serpent, the slain will be reawakened from death. That's why the Kaddish too need a sacrifice, to summon the Goddess of Chaos. Yoko? Yoko Hiromine, like us, has endured suffering at the hands of the Horned God. Now, the time has come for you to prepare the Nahobino for sacrifice. So, then what of God's misdeeds against you? And surely you haven't forgotten that your own freedom is at stake as well. I know. I still want my revenge and my freedom. Sacrificing him isn't the right way to get either. Oh my, what a precious display of selflessness. But I'm afraid it's too late to turn back. Then the sacrifice shall be carried out by us, the Kadishtu.
Tahobino. You fought so well. <laughs> and failed. Can you hear her? The voice of our beloved goddess. There is nothing now that can stop her return! has come. The ultimate end. The ultimate beginning. Descendant of the once ruler of old. Here and now, we offer up your life, O oh Dragon Slayer God. Let the Queen of Chaos rise once again! Yoko Hiromine, you are fated to become a goddess. Allow me to remind you how you were wronged by this world. You developed your ability to fight demons, believing it a just cause, but you had no place in Bethel. Your teacher spent decades learning what you perfected in but a few years, and they feared you would surpass them. Though they offered shallow praise, they continued to assign you ever deadlier missions. They envied your talent and secretly wished for your death so as to protect their own foolish pride. Yes, they were pitiful human beings, but still. I have no doubt there must have been kind souls among them as well. But would you not agree that the social structure itself is to blame for producing such wretched humans? In the ancient times of chaos, humans and gods were free and equal. 
But when the Horned God came into power and the world of order was created, the system of control brought harm to humanity. Remember our goal. You must reclaim your power as a goddess and fulfill your purpose. As a goddess, you will guide Tiamat to the Empyrean, where the throne shall be returned to chaos. Submit or rebel? Have you forgotten the agreement we reached when you stood at that fateful crossroads? I remember. But I didn't want to get him or Tao involved. I'm afraid it is too late for the girl. And the Nahobino sacrifice is necessary to summon Tiamat. The humans you care for will soon be but memories, Yoko Hiromine. There will be nothing tangible left for you in this world. Now, I ask you once again to fulfill your pledge. Reclaim your power as a goddess, and bring chaos to this world. I'm sorry, young man. I swore I would protect you, but I fear I can no longer do so. If you hadn't joined with me, you wouldn't have to suffer this fate. Indeed, if not for me, you might have avoided being drawn into the Kadishtu's dark machinations altogether. I don't know what to say, except that I'm sincerely glad to have met you. Our time together may be coming to an end, but it will never disappear. Accept defeat. You must live. Even if you're alone, you must go. She is waiting.
I wish I could have saved you. Algami is gone, but... At least... You made it back. That's something. The future of the world is in your hands. So please, please keep it safe. You know, Yuzuru, I've been trying to figure out how to do right in this world. And after I met you and him, I felt pretty good for a while. But I guess feeling good isn't enough. That angel taught me something truly important. You can't rely on others to carry out your justice. Ichiro. If you want justice, you need power. And power is exactly what he gave me. I am free. I don't need to live my life depending on others. No. I get it. The drive for strength to do something. But why are you... You want to know why I'm doing this? <laughs> you really don't know. I'm here to stop you from making a dumb mistake like becoming a Nahopino. What? It just came to me! I have to use my power for justice. I have to use it for order. So you see, I can't just let my friend become a Nahobino and threaten that order, right, Amdiel? That is correct. As decreed by our lord, the Nahobino cannot be permitted to exist. If you underestimate your enemy, you'll get yourself killed. <laughs> Sorry to say it, buddy, but looks like you made the wrong enemy. Ah, a surprise. It would appear you're still alive. Hold up, Abdiel. So where's Algami? He bite it? <laughs> Guess that makes you normal now. <sighs> Ain't you lucky. Not even worth the time it'd take to kill you. Atito was. He said he was gonna be a Nahobino and make a new world or some shit. Such defiance cannot be allowed. Thus he paid for his arrogance with his life. If you can no longer become a Nahobino, there is no need to kill you. Return now to Tokyo. Live your life in peace. Damn it all.
You, where is he? Where's Atsuta? We came in pursuit of the Kadishtu. Together we thought we could stop them. But after the Demon King was slain, it seems Abdiel decided to eradicate the Nahobino. She hit us when we least expected. We didn't stand a chance against her. Are you... alone? What happened to Aogami? I see. He protected you. If only I could have done the same. There's only one thing to do now. Young man, I want you to come along with me. We can't entrust this world to Bethel. And we can't let the Kadishtu run free either. That's why I need you, since you've fought as a Nahobino before. Aogami's true name is Susano-o, a proto-fiend created by Bethel, Japan. He was meant to inherit the Amatsukami's full power. And no Aogami-type units are left at the Japan branch. However, there is one of the same family, the Sukuyomi type, which specializes in domestic affairs and guiding the Japanese government. While we analyzed Aogami, we replicated the system for becoming a Nahobino and outfitted it for the Sukuyomi type. What I mean is, fusion with this proto-fiend should be possible. If you're willing, I would ask you fuse with the Sukuyomi type. I would ask you to take up this fight once more. Thank you. In order to lead well in times of crisis, Tsukuyomi maintained a human appearance while managing domestic affairs here in Japan. It was necessary to serve the nation. The Tsukuyomi type is at present managing the country. In fact, serving as Prime Minister. Yes, I am that Tsukuyomi type. Let us fight together.
forward. Young man, would you mind if we returned to the front of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building? I would like to look at that place one more time. Is this demon here? Don't disappoint me.
Return. Counting on you. Hmm. Young man. Atsuta joined me in becoming a Nahobino so that he could protect Tokyo. I thought doing so would fulfill the will of the Amatsukami as well. But Atsuta lost his life at the hands of Abdiel and Dazai. Now that the one with my knowledge is gone, I can no longer claim the throne. As of this moment, I swear to follow you in Algani's place. I found you at last. Oh, there's something different about you. Do you remember me? Ah, splendid. However, I'm afraid your performance has left something to be desired. You have not defeated the Kadishtu, and they have succeeded in resurrecting the Great Serpent of Chaos. Such a nefarious threat to our Lord's Order cannot be allowed to remain in this world. As you have failed to deal with the Kadishtu, I ask that you take responsibility and halt the Serpent's machinations. There is someone controlling Tiamat. Whether it is the Kadishtu or someone else entirely, I do not know. After Tiamat appeared at the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, she broke the wards protecting Shakan. Shakan is a sacred space within Bethel. It could also be considered the source of power for the Shekinah glory. I have received word that Tiamat's master has infiltrated those forbidden grounds. Make your way to Shakan. If you can find the intruder, then you will also find Tiamat. But take heed. This is a holy sanctuary within Bethel. Abdiel has already defeated the Demon King, and now she has made her way there to eliminate the intruder. It is likely she will view you as an intruder as well. Go forth with extreme caution. Hmm. 
Let's be off. So, this is Shakam. I sense a peculiar presence here. We'd best proceed with caution. We should go.
young man. should go.
mich nicht. But... Young man.
That power has been sealed away. It is forbidden to release it. How do you justify it? Locking up what offends you. Don't you feel any shame, O oh, Archangel? <laughs> you had best watch how you speak to me, silly child. Our Lord thinks in ways beyond you. He had his reasons for sealing you away. If that is what your blind faith tells you, cling to it until the world dies. The world? What are you doing? <laughs> I feel it. My true power is resting here. You do not look like you are of Bethel. And if not, who are you? I am the Archangel Abdiel. You are not allowed here without permission from the Most High. I must insist that you leave. And if you do not wish to comply... That face... I know you. Nahobino of the Japan branch. You are a fool to try for godhood once more. Now you face judgment by an archangel's blade. This battle is for Atsuta. Use all we have to defeat Abdiel. That was Yoko Hiromine we saw earlier. However, her presence did not feel entirely human. Could she be the one guiding Tiamat, as Mastema had mentioned? Perhaps it would be best to pay him another visit. Ah, you've returned. Do enlighten me with tales of what transpired within Shakan. I see. So that is what happened. 
As I suspected, you fought the obstinate Abdiel. But I'm certain such a battle served as a valuable lesson to her. The more pressing matter is that girl Yoko Hiramine. So, she has regained the power of a goddess. In ancient times, the gods that ruled the world were chosen by the goddesses of creation. Their purpose was to select the god that would become the next ruler, but the creator viewed this custom as a threat. As such, Yoko Hiromine was sealed away by the creator 18 years ago. And as irony would have it, she came to serve Bethel as an exceptional demon exorcist in the current day. Indeed, her trust in the Creator was betrayed, and she came to harbor a deep hatred for Bethel. It is likely she made a deal with the Kardishtu in exchange for their assistance. Afterwards, she worked alongside the Kadishtu in order to reclaim her power. No doubt that is why she approached you as well. It was surely connected with the Kardishtu's aims. In other words, the Yoko Hiromine you met could be seen as a manifestation of the goddess Yoko who was sealed away. Now that she's attained her apotheosis, her true goal is utter annihilation. Nahobino, if possible, I ask that you make your way to the Empyrean and stop her. It is the world's fate to be remade. Birth, death, then rebirth. But if the throne is destroyed, that cyclical system will fail. Without the remaking of the world, all of humanity's souls will be lost, doomed to eternally wander the abyss. My lord does not wish for that to happen. Please lend us your strength, Nahobino. I never thought I'd hear an angel instructing us to go to the Empyrean. As a Nahobino, we could potentially ascend the throne there and reshape the world. Is Bethel saying they'll allow this? In any case, we should return to Tokyo for now. There is much to fill you in on, and we should discuss our next move. Now then. A moment. I'll tell you everything I know about Nahobino and the power to reshape the world. Aogami's true name is Susanoo, as pr Hey. 
Can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness. Listen, we need to talk. It's serious, but I can't really tell you here. Sorry, I know it's a surprise. Yes, but not exactly in the way you might think. I'm very glad to see you safe. The Tao you knew, she did die. And the form I hold now, it is her soul reborn by a power beyond description. As goddess of creation, my purpose is to guide the Nahobino to the throne. Come, look. Tokyo fades like the setting sun. Time is almost up. The Empyrean. You can reach it and recreate the entire world. I believe you are the only one who can create a better world, one humanity deserves. What power I have shall be yours, and we can form a new world, as it should be. Until then, I ask only this, will you let me fight at your side? Shimizu. His true name is Sukuyomi, yes? Please, take me to Bethel, Japan first. It's good to see you, Director Koshimizu. Is it... Iso no Kami? I almost didn't recognize you. It is I, now awakened as a goddess to guide the Nahobino. Then it's time, and the next recreation is at hand. I shall guide you, into Dot, where the Empyrean lies. I ask that you become ruler, and forge a peaceful world for humanity. Let us be off. Are you prepared to go? of Dot, and this one leads to the Empyrean. 
The path to the Empyrean. It has also been called the Temple of Eternity. Long before the first human being, the entity who oversaw this world created a bridge to the throne. However, Bethel Headquarters has hidden the keys to access it, and so the path remains closed. There are three keys in total. It used to be that... But keep an eye out. I'm sure you can guess how many Nahobino aspirants are after the keys themselves.
Welcome to the world of shadows, where... You wish... You wish... You wish... Listen, young man. Bino, whose name is on everyone's lips. You should know Bethel has ordered your death. I usually don't care to follow the Angel's orders. Yet neither can I simply ignore your claim to rule. Answer me this, Mahobino. What lies in your heart as you seek the throne? When you look upon the denizens of this world, do you see hope? Or despair. I see. Very good. Then let us pit your blade against my spear and see whose resolve wins out. Do not worry. Death at my hand shall earn you your place in Valhalla. Trying to pull, Odin. I'm not just gonna let you have all the fun. You're here for the keys, boy? Lucky you. The All Father and I will grant you a real clash of the gods. You wanna see what happens to fools who dare to cross Bethel? Come face your end. Before me, 
Fight, boy. That's a loss I can accept. More readily than Bethel, will I suspect? Much as they'll object, the keys of benevolence and harmony are yours. You've clobbered us. Hurry up and get that last key.
Nenhuma. Welcome to the world of shadows, where demon...
is this demon to you? May you have a bountiful harvest. You wish to... face I don't sense your demon counterpart she died shielding me from Tiamat Dot behind. I'm dropping out of this race for the throne. Not that I could chase it even if I tried. Not now that I've lost my other half. Why did Nuwa sacrifice herself to save you? Who can say? I tried to kill Nuwa once. I was about your age at the time, boy. But she didn't try to stop me. Didn't even resist. In the end, the only reason she lived that day is because I couldn't bring myself to do it. Maybe that's why she joined me. Because she saw how much of a hypocrite I really was. I didn't have what it took to rule this world. Yes, I am. Nuwa didn't tell me to remake the world. She told me to survive. Maybe it's true that you weren't meant to take the throne or reshape the world. But I think being inconsistent is just part of being human. I'm sure we've all got disconnects like that in us, 
Even me, or him. But it seemed to me like she really, truly loved humanity. That means flaws and all. Perhaps. I'm going back to the other Tokyo. I owe her my life. So now I'll have to figure out how I'm going to spend it. So that was Shohei Yakumo. I remember the Saint mentioned him sometime previously. I opened an investigation into him at the time. Though I suppose the results hardly matter anymore. If you want to know more, I'd ask one of the researchers at the Japan branch.
You wish to... Forgive me, Lord Shiva.
transcension after all. As promised, the key of austerity is yours. You now have all three keys, representing the three pillars of the Empyrean. That means you've earned the right to ascend to the heavens. Now, make your way to the Temple of Eternity, where the entrance to the Empyrean... Yeah. <laughs> 
This is the Temple of Eternity. Once we reach the top and offer the three keys, the path to the Empyrean will open. The Pillar Imperial, as it is called, spans the gap between heaven and earth, connecting them. Do be careful, however. I detect many a demon within these grounds. Listen closely. Young man.
Listen, young man. Young man.
young man. This is the highest point we can reach. The path should open for us. Offer the three keys. We are free to walk the path to the Empyrean. There lies the end and the beginning. There lies the source of eternal light. The light that reforges our world. The Nahobino who reaches it may mold the world. Form it in any shape that they so choose. It is time to become that divine architect. Pass through the Empyrean and take your place upon the throne. But take heed. Some aim to usurp your newfound reign. Show them no mercy. sense it. They are here. Hey, hey, look who showed up! <laughs> Is that you, dude? I went to all that trouble not to kill you. Guess that's what I get for trying to be nice. What are you talking about? Eh? Hold on. Isanokami? <laughs> That's wild. You're a goddess now, huh? I mean, I guess that's the natural path after all the saint stuff. <sighs> I thought I was pretty clear. You defy God's will and become a Nahobino and I have to kill you. So congrats! <laughs> I guess you're on the list. That thing... had deal. Yeah, Abdiel found out the truth. She wasn't strong enough to beat you on her own. Justice means nothing without power! And now that I'm the one with the power, time to dole some out!
Impossible. I lost... a loser. I guess... I haven't changed. I'm still only what I was. That means justice is yours to... You have been avenged, Yuzuru Atsuka. Abdiel and Ichiro Dazai have been slain. The future now lies with him. Rest in peace, and watch over him as he decides the fate of this world. I'm sure. Even Dazai had his own vision for making a better future. guide the world to come. This is... <sighs> it has been a long journey, and you have done well to come this far. We stand before the Pillar Imperial, a path of light. It shall lead the Nahobino to highest heaven. See your world achieved. I will stand by your side until the very end. Creation is the will of the universe itself. And the reason, my reason for being, is to oversee it. Come, let us go. Welcome to... Return. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Listen, young man. Thank you. 
Aha. Welcome to... Is this demon to your love? Splendid. Hear me. Splendid. Hear me.
I shall test you.
Return.
Welcome. You w You wish to Wait.
Indeed. You!
Indeed. Welcome. You wish... Retem
Well... Is this demon to you? Young man.
So, you've come. This is the Hall of Creation, resting place of the throne. The Nahobino who will take the throne has been determined. Thus, I shall fulfill my role. For ages I have watched over this world, but at last I can administer my true duty. Goddess, it is time. Not so fast. Creation is not the way. Let the world be returned to chaos. Wait. Yoko, is that you? You're okay. There was a time when I was known as Yoko. Now, I am the goddess who guides Tiamat. You were once my friend, Tal. But this is about far more than who we were. I carry the will of the Kadishtu. I will destroy this world and surrender it to chaos. <sighs> is that you? I didn't. I'm glad you lived, but I thought the sacrifice would have... Algami protected him. Now he has become Nahobino again, and he seeks the throne. Yoko, I had no idea you'd end up a goddess. My role is to guide him to the throne. It is who I am. I do not wish to hurt you. Will you let us pass? If he gets his ideal world, then we can save everyone. So please, you have to believe in us. Wait, Tao. I wasn't expecting to see you, at least not like this. A goddess. I didn't know you would end that way either. But still, I won't back down. The Kadishtu showed me the truth. The flaw in the system that governs us. What flaw? It's not fair. Never was. It is the hierarchy that came to be when the Horned God assumed the throne. One God rose above the others and seized control. By his example, mortals learned to do the same. This structure has defined us, corrupted humanity. It is our history, broken beyond repair. Listen to me. You felt it back at school. You saw humanity for what it is. Stupid and ugly. I did. I did feel it then. But that... That... Is why we need him, a new god to rule and mend this broken world. For Yuzuru, for Yakumo, for Dazai, we need someone who can answer their human hopes. With his powers as Nahobino, I know he can create a world of peace and joy. Is that truly what you believe? One god to rule over everyone? Do you think humanity will ever be happy being ruled? No. It's built on the same ground. The same broken system. A god who has control over everything. It ruined our world. That's the reason we're fractured, divided, between oppressors and oppressed. Even if he takes the throne, nothing will change. 
It will simply be a new oppressor. There is only one way. Our way. Let Tiamat's power destroy the world. Then begin anew from the chaos. Truly free. There will be no concept of rule. And everyone, human and demon, will be free. have the same vision for the future. Please, you can take my hand, assume the throne, and create our ideal world. Thank you. With this, we will preserve the history of humanity. We will forge an even better world. You will not. You can't. I won't let you. Any future you build for this world will be as broken as the past. You preserve a god's rule. The law of one. The Kadishtu were right. I am their plan. The world's fate is to return to chaos. of the system. Tiamat is primordial. 
The Mother Goddess will not fall. She transcends even the concept of death. Young man, if you wish to live, take my hand. My being became Magatsuhi. I was absorbed by Tiamat. When she fell by your hand and reformed, my essence escaped hers. I have reclaimed myself. But when we were bound together, I learned something. As a primordial goddess, she is nearly immortal. Yet her divinity is rooted within her identity as a dragon. If you seek to best a godly dragon, You'll need a godly dragon slayer. And so, my power is yours. Now let us rise, young man. This time we end it. Even if you slay Tiamat, it's not over. Say!
Now then.
Stay alert. I offer up my body as a goddess of creation. I summon deepest void, the living abyss! Chaos, envelop this world to home, rise up. Thank you. 
Thus is marked the birth of a new creator, a new world that will rise in his image. My true name has ever been Amitama. I serve as the light of creation. Now your will be done by the power of the throne. You now rule. May your ideal world be revealed. Do you wish? 
wish to know why that is, you will find me in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Best come prepared. I've just picked up a number of strange readings. Many of them are not unlike the menorah in our possession. I've marked...
young man. <laughs>
Is this demon to you? Together we shall protect.
To possess such incredible power, no doubt means you are able to see my true form. Look upon me. As the Lord of Chaos, I defeated the Creator, consumed his knowledge, and became more than he could possibly imagine. It was then I came to understand this world. Following the world's recreation, a new dot will eventually appear. And soon after, the gods will rise up to claim the throne. At which time, the Nahobino of that world will destroy you. And the throne will once again receive a new ruler. This endless cycle is the result of a spatial governing phenomenon known as the Mandala System. Do you not wish to be free of such restrictions? Do you not wish to be free from Mandala's eternal machinations? And with it, rest this world from the Mandala's endless eons. This is the reason for my transcendence. Perish. Thunder.
The boundless potential of the world's beginning will bring peace. Where once there was instability. The Empyrean and the throne of creation shall become a cradle and shall encircle all of its wonder. Every world that has been Every world that will be, shall be nurtured within this infinite universe. And there, a paradise shall be born. A world where all wishes are fulfilled, and none denied. 